Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. In the last couple of videos, I've shown you how to access the sales ledger, add customer accounts, edit customer accounts. In this video, I'm now going to show you how to raise customer invoices. So just to recap, I went to the invoicing page at the, the side here, clicked on that, then went to the customer sub page. There's also this invoices sub page. There's nothing showing yet because I've added no invoices, but that's going to change in this video. I have shown you how to view customer accounts by clicking on them and to edit the information about customers. So let's say we want to raise an invoice for SM accounting. So this is a sales invoice. It's not a purchase invoice. It's a sales invoice. How do we do that? So we go to the top right here and click on new transaction and we have invoice and lots of other options such as statements, credit notes. Click on the top one invoice. The page will then change and you'll get like this invoice template appear. So we have the customer, the customer email address, the billing address. All of this stuff is brought up automatically by what's on the customer account. So if this billing address is wrong, you need to go to the customer account and edit that. But this is today's date, which is great. We're net 30. So it gives you the due date at net 30. And we just need to fill in the rest of this information. So let's say we have sales. And let's just say the sales is business. support services as agreed you might have like a purchase order reference you could put that in there something like that obviously the description is going to be very unique for your business you have the quantity let's say it was five hours the rate of 16 pound 50 per hour which is 82 pounds 50 it works out automatically for you and then you have this VAT option. If you're not VAT registered, then there was likely nothing will show here because you may have bought the QuickBooks package that doesn't have the VAT feature. If you are VAT registered, then you have to put something in here. 20% exempt. These are the two main options for most of you or perhaps no VAT. If you click on 20%, it will calculate the VAT for you on this net figure so we have 99 pounds all i need to do is click print or preview save or send or save and close it depends on what i want to do let's say i want to save this invoice and then attach it to an email that i'm going to send to sm accounting so all i need to do is click print or preview click print or preview again here we go here's the invoice everything is brought up by default by the information I've put in to QuickBooks. You'll notice my logo appears. I put that in earlier. My business details appear. I put that in earlier. If I don't like the look of this invoice, I can change the layout and the color. And I'll show you how to do that in a later video. But that's the invoice. We have the VAT. We have quantity five business support services. All I need to do now is click on the download button or print the invoice off, depending if I want to post the invoice or attach it to an email. It could be that I want to email my invoices directly from QuickBooks Online. All I need to do is click save and send and it will do that. So save and send and it will email the invoice for me. When I'm ready to finish, I can click the X button here, but I prefer to use the save and close button here. Just make sure everything is saved. You'll now see that under SM Accounting, I have an invoice here, dated the 12th of February, which I raised today. We have our invoice number 1001. This will go up automatically with each customer invoice that I raise. And we have all the other details that I entered. I understand I went through that very quickly. So let's go through again and I'll try and slow down a bit. So to raise an invoice, you first need to have a customer. So we've added two customers, SM Accounting and ABC Computers. If you don't know how to add a customer, just click on this button here. But I do have a video about that. 
It's actually the previous video to this one. Click on the customer, go to new transaction, click invoice. You have this invoice template appear and then just fill out the details. So let's do the same thing again. Sales. Let's say this time it was P PA package. I'm just making this up. PO. This is just a purchase order reference. 10 hours at £18.50 per hour. VAT at 20%. And then that's all done. If you just keep in mind that this is an invoice template, so we just have to fill in the information we want to show on the actual invoice. Print or preview. Print or preview again. We have our invoice here. I can either print it or download it. And I'll also have an option to save and send it down the bottom here. But let's just save and close that. And you'll see that two invoices now appear. One is 1001, one is 1002, and they're showing in date order. Hopefully that helps. In the next video, I will show you some other aspects of this sales ledger tab, this invoicing tab, such as recording customer payments, raising credit notes, and raising statements. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and please continue with this QuickBooks Online tutorial.